गुरु नानक जयंती सम की लेसन टू लर्न फ्रॉम गुरु नानक जी गुरु नानक जयंती ऑल्सो सेलिब्रेटेड एज गुरपूरब इज रिगार्डेड टू बी द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द फर्स्ट फाउंडिंग गुरु ऑफ सिखिज्म गुरु नानक देव जी द फेस्टिवल होल्ड्स माइटी इम्पोर्टेंस फॉर द फॉलोअर्स ऑफ सिख रिलीजन who treated as a day to remember his teachings noble work and the ideas that he preached while the day is marked as a holiday in most schools and educational institutions it is important that you start teaching your kids young and tell them about the importance of the day the more involved and aware they are the more they stand to inherit good values while a lot of celebrations involve young kids lighting diyas candles and distributing prasad the day should also be marked as a day when kids learn the real meaning of the festival and know more about the teachings guru nanak dev ji talked about which are still relevant today first submission to the will of god vahikul guru nanak dev ji gave the message of hukam rajai chalna nanak likheya nal guru nanak dev ji says that everything happens by god's grace so rest assured that god knows better what is right or wrong for us we should therefore accept his decisions without any grudge or question two there is one god guru nanak dev ji said i am neither hindu nor muslim i am a follower of god which actually spoke about his belief in one god in sikhism the god is omnipresent shapeless timeless and sightless nirankar akar alag sikhism stresses that before the creation there was god and because of his will hukam the illusion maya of attachment and enticement came into being the god in sikhism is not male or female and can only be seen through your inward eye guru nanak dev ji explained one thing clearly that there is only one who gives to everyone and we should not forget him the guru stressed that full knowledge of god is impossible in human form third good will for all sarbat da bhala guru nanak dev ji passed the message of universal brotherhood he said that religion is not mere consistence of words but actually looks all men and women equally universal brotherhood is a strong theme in gurbani written by guru nanak dev ji in our prayer we say this line to words the end of daily ardas nanak naam chardi kala tere vaane sarvata bhala which can be translated as nanak asks for naam name of god with which comes well being happiness and positive spirit and with your blessings lord may everyone in the world prosper and be in peace or can be broken down as nanak with naam comes chardi kala and with your blessings may there be peace for all we request him for the welfare of the whole humanity and not just of our community or our family alone fourth sach sunesi sach ki vela to speak the truth we should always speak the truth without any fear 
According to the Guru's doctrine, the victory of truth is not dependent on ending or suppressing falsehood, but in standing firmly by truth. That is why Guru Nanak Dev Ji exhorts that to stick to truth and to remain on the side of truth when it is necessary is very essential. Fifth, Seva and Simran Guru Nanak says that no one can save anybody else. It is only Guru who guides us to safety and to be saved one has to follow the right path of Seva and Simran told by him. Further, the Guru is not to be found in big palaces. He lives with poor. Let us love the poor. God will bless us. If we recite Gurbani with love, we will find the Guru is speaking to us. We have been reminded of his observations many times in our life. When we barely make both ends meet, we are usually sincerely devoted to Gurbani and the sick way of life. But when we have excess money to spend on worldly pleasures, we follow vices and ignore the real mission of human life. Dharam is usually the first casualty when we become rich. About Seva, Gurbani explains, In the midst of this world, do Seva and you shall be given a place of honor in the court of the Lord. Sixth, the three principles. Vanda Chako, sharing with others, helping those with less who are in need. Kirat Karo, earning or making a living honestly without exploitation or fraud. Naam Japna, chanting the holy name and thus remembering God at all times. Ceaseless devotion to God. Seventh, shun five evils. Guru Nanak Dev Ji asked his followers to shun five evils which leads to illusion or maya which eventually acts as a roadblock towards attainment of salvation. The five evils are ego, anger, creed, attachment and lust. Eighth, Importance of Guru Guru Nanak Dev Ji lay great emphasis on having the importance of Guru in one's life. He put forward the thought that salvation occurs not from pilgrimage or rites, but through the heart, spirit and soul. For this to happen continuously, seeking of knowledge must take place which is dependent on one's Guru. Guru, according to him, is the voice of the God, the true source of knowledge and salvation. Ninth, No Discrimination Guru Nanak Dev Ji was strongly against all artificially created divisions and all discrimination, both in word and deed. He said, that the caste of a person is based on what he does. His idea of a caste-free society transpired in his concepts of Sangat and Pangat. Tenth, against rituals or superstitions. Guru Nanak Dev Ji preached against superstitions, false rituals, worship of demigods and goddesses. He stressed that only one God, the formless, is to be glorified. In this way, he showed the path of truth and enlightenment. 11th, honesty and truth overpower everything. 
as a parent you have to help your child develop the right habits and one of the best habits they can adopt is to be honest always guru nanak ji's teachings can come in handy when you are trying to impart moral values to young minds according to his teachings the greatest joy can only be found when we live and believe in complete honesty and truth 12th equality and brotherhood go hand in hand a core philosophy of the sikh religion is to promote equality telling your kids how gurudwaras are open for all at all times is a good example to teach the young ones that true wealth only comes when you are selfless and work for others goodwill when kids extend a helping hand to others they realize the value of gratitude equality and the value of work without having to wait for a reward you can also take them to a gurudwara so that they can see it for themselves 13th to live a life away from evil according to guru nanak dev ji's teachings any kind of evil temperament ego anger greed attachment and lust are to be done away with at once for the betterment of the soul and the mind kids need to be taught at an early age about these principles so that they can lead a rightful and virtuous life 14 see or hear no discrimination guru nanak dev was against all kinds of discriminatory practices and believed in equality for all he believed in a society that was free from any divisions and wanted his followers to believe in the same as parents you should be teaching your children the same concepts and raise them in a world which is free from any kinds of prejudices this will make them more accepting and loving of people around them a very powerful exercise the guru nanak sahib gave us to train our minds to live in gratitude is to sit down with a pen and a paper and make a list of everything for which we are grateful each day we do this again and again and again this is an honoring process it opens our eyes to everything we have in our lives to be grateful for and takes us deeper and deeper into the detail of every facet of life that is good it takes us into the inner workings of the play of our life and all that is positive and great it shows us how blessed we are and shifts our focus from anger fear and lack to gratitude courage and abundance prosperity flows in that state of grace it flows easily without stress worry or frustration or any kind of emotions that drain our life force when we are grateful we are naturally filled with kindness and compassion when we are thankful we are compassionate and therefore we share we give and we serve one another and that is how we can create a bountiful blissful world and make the heavenly realm a living reality on this beautiful world of earth om shanti